Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put a Facebook like button on your website using 90 Second Website Builder. The first thing you need to do is go to a very specific place on Facebook, and here's the address developers.facebook.com forward slash docs forward slash reference forward slash plugins forward slash like. Also notice that I am not logged in to my Facebook account. That's kind of important, especially for those of you who have worked with some other Facebook apps. We want to make sure we get some clean code and to make it less confusing, just make sure you're logged out of your Facebook account. So assuming you're logged out and you've come to this site, and by the way, if you can't remember that long address, you can Google how to put a like button on your, my website or some kind of a phrase like that and you should be able to find this address developers.facebook.com etc okay once you're here you'll see that Facebook offers us two steps there's step one and then there's a step two the good news is we're gonna ignore step two all you're going to need is step one and even step one is very simple the first thing to do is to type in the URL or the address to your website in this first box. In my case, I put 90secondwebsitebuilder.com. You would put the address to your website. Next, you would make sure you uncheck the send button. We are not going to use a send button type of code. That creates a different kind of code than we're going to talk about in this video. So that's the one thing you need to do is uncheck the send button box. Then you can choose what layout style you want. There's a standard. You can have a button count or a box count they just look slightly different you can see the preview over here on the side shows what that would look like and it doesn't matter which one you want to use I'm gonna use the standard you can change the width in pixels if you need to and if you want to show faces you can I recommend doing this because it does give more credibility to your website now right now we're not seeing any faces because I'm logged out of Facebook if I was logged in, there'd be a few faces because I happen to be friends with people who have liked my website. And it's great when people come to your website and that like button appears, if they happen to see faces of people they are friends with, and those are the only faces they might see, then it gives even more credibility to your website because they can see someone that they're already uh, Facebook friends with also liked your website. So that can be a very powerful feature as far as social media credibility goes. So it's a good idea to check that box, especially as your site becomes more popular and more and more people like it. You can change this from a like button to a recommend button if you want to. I think most people recognize the like, but you can make that decision and you can use either a light or a dark color scheme for your like button. That's pretty much it. Once you've made these simple decisions, it's a matter of just getting the code that you're going to now paste into your website at 90 Second Website Builder's interface. So let's get the code. What happens is you'll get what's called the HTML5 code. There are three types of code you can get. We are not going to get these others. This is something different. You'll know you've got the right one if HTML5 is selected. You'll also see that there are two snippets of code that are required for this. All we need now is to get this code and put it on our website. And here's how we do that. I would recommend, since we've got two different snippets here, is that you simply copy and paste this into some kind of a text -to document, like a Word document. So you would copy this text like I've just done. I've selected it. I could control C or copy it and then go paste it into a Word document so I can use it later. And that's what I've done here. I've just opened up a Word document. So here's a copy of that code right here. And then I've done that with the other snippet as well. Down here I've copied this code and then pasted it into my Word document down here so that I can have it to work with when I get back to 90 Second Website Builder. Okay, that's it. Once we've made those decisions, we get the code, we say okay, we can actually leave the Facebook interface and go back to 90 Second Website Builder. Here I have an empty 90 Second Website Builder document. And I'm going to show you how to paste this code into the right spot. It's very simple, but you must do it exactly the way I show you. So take notes or watch carefully. Here's what we're going to do. The first step is we're going to right click onto the canvas. Now in my case I have a blank canvas. If you're working with a website with a lot of objects, make sure that you right click on an area of the canvas that does not have an object because we want to right click so that we can bring up what's called the page 
HTML. Now if there was an object there, I wouldn't be able to right click on it, I'd bring up properties for that object. But I want the page properties, or rather the page HTML, because that's what we're going to go and edit with. So when I click on that, it brings up an area where I can actually add in some code into my website. Here's what we want to do, and this is where it's very important. We want to make sure we go to the tab that says After Body Tag. This is going to put our Facebook code exactly where Facebook told us to do it. They want us to put it on our page right after the body tag. You don't need to know what that means. For those of you that speak a little bit of HTML, this will make sense. If you don't, it's okay. Just make sure you choose this tab. We can put code, 90 second allows us to put code in different parts of our page, but it's very important that we put it here. And the first code we get is that big snippet of code, that first one. So I'm going to go back to my Word document where I copied this code and I'm going to take this code and I'm going to copy it. First I'm going to select it. Now I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it into place. Pretty simple. Now here's one thing you would not know to do and it's a very small thing but it'll make a huge difference. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the last character of this code. This is the code that Facebook gave us and it's the right code but there's one thing we need to do. We need to put our cursor right here and delete this last character, that little bracket. Now for those of you that recognize what code looks like, that's going to feel funny to you to do that because it looks like the code is broken. But it's not. The reason we're removing that is because 90 second is going to automatically add that character in for us later. It's just the way the software works. So as long as you've pasted in that snippet of code into the right place after the body tag and just remove that last character like I just did you can click OK and you're now done now let's go do the second part the next thing we're gonna do is now we get to decide where we want our Facebook like button to appear you want it at the top of your page the bottom of your page under a picture or whatever again I don't have any content in this particular demonstration you might want to put it right under the header right under the navigation wherever you want so the way we do that is we get the HTML tool and I can just uh, click on it, drag a box here, double click to bring it up. So here's where I'm gonna put the other snippet of code. Let me go get that. That's this smaller piece of code right here. This is the actual code that puts the graphic, the thumbs up and all that stuff. The part that people see goes into this part of the of the page. Okay? Now you can call it something if you want to, you don't need to, the only you will see that. So this is optional, but sometimes it's, it's a good idea so you recognize it when you're in design mode. I click OK and I'm done. So what happens is I can now take this HTML code and put it wherever I want on my page. If I want that like button to be up in the top corner or whatever, we can do that. That's what the HTML tool is great about. You can literally drag and drop that wherever you want. Okay, we're actually done. I know uh, it, it actually looks complicated, but if you think about it, all we did is we went to Facebook, got the code, and then we came and pasted it into our project. So first we put the code in the HTML part right after the body tag. We removed that character. We got the HTML tool from the toolbox to put the graphic where we want it to be on our website and pasted in that, the other part of the code, that short snippet, and that's it. You're actually done. Now, here's a little trick. Normally, you can press F5 to preview your website, but there are some things that you can't view on your website in preview mode, and this is one of them because of the way Facebook works. You're going to have to actually publish your website to see what this looks like online. So I've done that ahead of time. I've just published this page. Let me move this so you can see that wherever I put, wherever I drag this, you can see that's where the that's where my little button's gonna gonna show up. Okay, now let's go look at it. This is how it publishes. Of course, I got a blank website, but the point of this video is to show this thing. So because I'm online, because it's published, not just previewing, I can see where my like button is going to be. Now remember, I'm not logged into my Facebook account. If I was to log into my Facebook account, I might see pictures of people that uh, I'm also friends with. Let's try that. 
Okay, I just edited that out because I didn't want to make you watch me log into Facebook. But I just went and logged into my Facebook account. And now, as you can see, the way I view this page as a Facebook user is I can see some pictures that actually show up under here. So when your visitors come to your website, as they're logged into Facebook, if they have friends who have liked your website, those little pictures will show. Okay, so just remember, you got to get your code at Facebook. You've got to then put it in those two places on your website. The drag and drop HTML tool will help you decide where you want it on your page. And then don't just preview it, publish it to your server, to your web hosting account, and you can see how it looks. All right, as long as you follow those steps, you shouldn't have any problems putting a Facebook like button on your website with 90 Second Website Builder.